guys welcome back to my channel i'm really super excited for today's video because i got a package and you guys know how i feel about packages um so for those who don't know me my name is leslie and uh i'm all about self-care so whether it's you know mental physically or spiritually that's my vibe I'm more of a lifestyle page so if you really like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you can see every time i post a video sometimes i'm not positive leslie sometimes i have my rants and you guys just have to deal with it but for the most part it's all love fam it's all love but Really super exciting. So uh, I got some Carol's Daughter sent to me for free. So this is exciting. Um, I was chosen to review this. Um, and it's really great timing because I got the package today and I put my deep conditioner in last night. So it's wash day anyway. So I was like, okay, okay. So this is the wash day delight. It's brand new um, by Carol's Daughter. I've used Carol Daughter products before, um, but I can't believe I got it sent to me, so that's exciting. But although it was sent to me, um, I will say that I'm going to give my complete and honest feeling about it. Uh, it doesn't make a difference on my opinion, and, and honestly, I want to know how much it is because I'm not going to promote something that I think is overpriced or underpriced or whatever the case is. Well, I will promote things that are underpriced. That was really stupid. But if it's overpriced, if I wouldn't buy this on my own, I'm going to tell you. So, here it is. Um, can you see it? So, it's really cute because it comes like with the applicator on top, I guess, to get your scalp a little bit better. Um, it is a no sulfate, no paraben, no silicone, and no artificial colors uh, with aloe. And the weird thing, when I was looking up the product and I saw that this was sent to me, I guess there's micellar water in it. I've never heard of putting micellar water in your hair before. I've heard of putting micellar water to remove makeup, so that's interesting. And it's really cute because it gives you a little card on how to use it. It says, wet hair, use the pointed tip to target scalp, gently massage into scalp and hair while working, lather through the mid length to end, rinse well, and follow with your favorite Carol's Daughter conditioner, which I do have a Carol's Daughter conditioner, so, um, it says that the really cool thing about this product is that it lifts away buildup, doesn't strip hair, and is for faster detangling. So I'm going to guess now. I don't know because I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to bring you in the shower for the first time with me. So vulnerable. Um, but I'm going to say that this is not something I would use every wash a day. It sounds like something where if I notice that I'm having a lot more buildup than usual, then I'm going to use it. Um, so it looks like... This retails for $12.99, which is not bad. So I'm going to use this Rassel Clay and Wrenching Conditioner with it um, because it is, I want to keep it within the family. I know I like the conditioner. Um, I will say that I am an organic grow girl. Most of the time that's what I use. But if I find something different that I like, I will incorporate it into my hair care routine. So let's see. Um, this says it helps restore essential moisture, um, revitalizes tired hair, and adds brilliant glossy shine. So that's what I'm going to do today. But let me just say thank you again, Carol's daughter, for sending this to me. I'm really super excited to try it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so I usually will only put shampoo in my scalp. I usually don't work it through the hair, so you'll see that I'm not really lathering my hair as much because I want to keep my ends as conditioned and as moist as possible.
So one of the things that I notice is that it's very sudsy and I'm not used to product with that much uh, suds in it. So that was interesting and I swear it took me forever to get all this soap out. Again, I will put my hair in four sections uh, I feel like that is the best way to make sure you're getting all the pieces of hair Okay, so I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes to let the conditioner sit and I noticed that I didn't lose much hair I usually lose a lot more hair than this 10 minutes, Ten minutes. All right, one section at a time Okay guys, so I'm using a wet brush and I'm very tender headed so this is probably one of my favorite brushes. I know a lot of people like the dead men brush but I feel like that takes a lot longer than the wet brush and if you can see I'll start brushing my hair from the bottom and work my way up so that way I'm not breaking any hair, okay? Okay, can we just talk about how beautiful this is like look how beautiful this is look at my hair I'm loving it okay so I'm pulling out all my hair from my brush so you can see um, how much um, what is the word I'm looking for I don't know what the word I'm looking for but that's how much hair came out of my hair and that's very little in comparison to what usually comes out so what I'm trying to say here is please use cold water when you rinse and yeah, beauty is pain. You're just going to have to freeze to death. Sorry. So what I'm also trying to say is that if you rinse your hair backward like that, which I'm not really in the camera, but if you rinse your hair backward, then you will get more volume. So that's what I was trying to say there. So after rinsing all my hair out, I'm going to go ahead and put on this cotton towel um, so that way there's no frizz. Usually I just put product in my hair soaking wet, but I don't have the luxury of doing that because I have to move all my equipment. So I haven't put anything in my hair yet and usually after I take a shower, I kind of just put product in my hair soaking wet. Like I usually don't do like the towel. But since I had to like move all my equipment over and get everything back over here, um, I had to. Like, I can't have my hair dripping all over my body. It will drive me crazy. Um, so, to start, um, I'm going to put another product in my hair that I use all the time because it's my reliable product. Um, I know that I don't really think it matters what shampoo I'm technically using or conditioner I'm using for it to come out really well. But it will be good to see if it affects it in any way. I highly doubt it, but it will be really cool to see. Um, but there's a couple things I learned. One, throughout that wash, I put way too much of this in my hair. So don't put as much as I did. The only reason why I ended up putting so much in my hair got so sudsy was because the applicator, I'm not used to this applicator. Like at least when I have 
shampoo that's regular I know how much I have in my hand as opposed to this I'm just hoping for the best um, which I at first I was like I'm gonna love this like this is gonna be so easy to use but then I realized like I'm putting way too much like I think I put the amount I'm supposed to put in my whole hair I put in one section and I was like and then when you look at the bottle like look how much I used you don't need that much in your hair so um, that was my first mistake it took forever to wash out because of the fact that I put too much in my hair However, my hair does feel squeaky clean. Let's take her out. I have washed out the conditioner and everything. Oh, and this towel um, is made of cotton. So I don't have to worry about frizz or anything like that. It's just like soaking wet. Um, but yeah, I mean, my hair looks amazing and I haven't even put anything in it yet. So typically when I put product in my hair, like I said, my hair has to be soaking wet. Um, this is kind of dry because I did use the towel. Oh my god, like, look how much water. Like, if you could just... Oh, wait, can you... Oh, oh, there's so much water in this towel. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put product in my hair now. This is my spray bottle. I'm gonna put a little bit more water in my hair. I like to do it in two sections. I'm not gonna clip it because I'm tired of clipping my hair, but let me just... Just one side. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my organic grow conditioning curling custard in it. It's still not um wet enough. I can oh no, it's it's pretty wet now. I did wet it pretty well. I have to do the back a little bit more. But yeah, everybody needs a a spray bottle. Like it's a must. I'm gonna go ahead and put this through my hair. I'm not going to comb my fingers through my hair like I usually do because it's not soaking wet. So since the curls are already really beautiful, um, I'm going to just leave it. I'm going to just rub it through. Pray your hands all the way through. All right. It's actually... Like, I, I have a feeling it's not going to frizz at all. My hair does feel really clean. Awesome. So, I'm going to come back to you guys in two hours. But before I do that, let me just let you know again what I think. I mean, like I said, I put way too much in my hair, I believe. Um, but I think that this is something that I can incorporate ever so often. I don't think it's something that I would put in my hair every week or um, maybe once a month I can see myself using the product and the reason why I say that is because after I rinse all the product that my um, out my hair I can feel how dry it was it was wet but it was still like ooh, like I didn't like the texture of it too much so um, if I want to deep clean like I felt like I don't know like I was in a mud bath and I needed to wash my hair and it was getting everything out and I only had to use it once most of the uh, shampoos that I use are like conditioning shampoos so they don't clean my hair or it doesn't feel the same it doesn't do that sudsy it doesn't suds up if that makes sense so I'm not used to that so when I'm washing out my hair I'm like what the heck I'm like what the heck all the suds and it was like never ending you ever see that prank where people are in the shower and people are putting shampoo in their hair and they don't know it and they keep trying to rub their hair out like I felt like that because I put way way too much but my scalp feels so clean my curls like you saw when I took my hair out that towel my curls were already defined and I don't know if that's from the Carol's daughter conditioner or if that was just like with a little bit of help of the shampoo but I didn't really have to wash my hair that much to feel like it was truly clean so I absolutely loved it so far I'm gonna let my hair dry um, I did put the product in my hair pretty fast but to be quite honest that's what I do so if I have to do anything different then I want to know that so I'll be back in two hours and um we'll see all right guys so this is not two hours later this is like a little bit more than two hours it's like three hours later um so this is my hair completely dry all right so what I will say is I stick with what I said this is not something I would use every week but it is something that I would use if I really want to deep clean um, I think that my curls are a lot bigger than usual because I had to put it up because I was moving everything around and stuff like that but I really like it I think it's good it's a good I, I feel my scalp feels really 
really, really clean. So if that's what you're looking for, like if you have any product buildup or anything like that, I definitely think you should use it. Um, I'm really thankful again to Carol's daughter for sending me the product. Surprise, I'm really shocked. Um, and I really appreciate, you know, that you guys accept my opinion or believe in my opinion or really care about what I think. That makes me really happy. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. And um, yes, I would completely suggest it. It's not expensive. Um, it's, a, I guess, a good tool. It's not something that, like I said, you would use on an everyday basis, but it's a really great tool. All right, bye unicorns. Thank you so much.